गुड मॉर्निंग सर दिस इज शुभम वराटको एंड माय अदर ग्रुप मेंबर्स आर सौरभ श्रीभद्री एंड सुबोध टाकलीगो सो सर आवर टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज प्रेजेंटेशन इज बेसिक्स ऑफ सिक्योरिटी रिक्वायरमेंट्स एंड सर्विसेज सो व्हाट इज नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी नेटवर्क सिक्योरिटी इज अ ब्रॉड टॉपिक विथ मल्टी लेड अप्रोच इट कैन बी एड्रेस एट द डेटा लिंक लेयर नेटवर्क लेयर एंड अप्लीकेशन लेयर द इश्यूज कंसर्न आर पैकेट इंट्रूजन एंड इनक्रिप्शन एपी पैक cats and routing tables with their updated version and host level bugs occurred at data link layer network layer and application layer respectively basic requirements of network security the main objective of network is to share information among its user situated locally or remotely therefore it is possible that undesired user can hack the network and can prove to be harmful for the health of the network or user There are few basic points which must be followed by network administrator to provide the network an adequate security other than the network specific security as in case of e-commerce etc. These are some given below. Networks are designed to share information. Therefore the network must be clearly configured to identify the shareable information and non-shareable information. The network should be clear with whom the shareable information should be shared. with the increase of system security the price of its management will also increase accordingly therefore a comp- compromising level between security and price should be established as per the requirement of the network system policy this will largely depend upon the level of security needed to apply in the network overall security requirements and the effective implementation of chosen level of security division of the responsibility concerning the network security must be clearly defined between the users and the system administrator the requirement for security must be detailed within a network security policy of the organization that indicates the valuable data and their associated cost to the business after defining the detailed network security policy and identifying the clear cut responsibility in the organization the system administrator should be made then responsible for ensuring the security policy is effectively applied to the company environment including the existing network infrastructure system requirements and attacks uh, the given figure shows the security thing in first figure we show the normal flow then second one is the interruption third one is the interception fourth one is the modification and fifth one is the fabrication the given figure shows active and passive network security threats in the fi- in the figure we can sh- see that passive threat is divided into two parts a first it is divided into interception then it is divided into two parts that is release of message contents and traffic analysis and active threat is divided into three parts that is interruption modification and fabrication so security services network security can be provided the following service related to the message and entity the given figure shows the security services first the security service is divided into two parts that is message and entity the message is divided into four parts that is confidentiality integrity authentication and non repetition and entity is again further divided into authentication so message confidentiality it means that the content of a message when transmitted across a network must remain confidential that is only the intended receiver and no one else should be able to read the message the users therefore want to encrypt the message they send so that an avoids dropper on the network will not be able to read the contents of the message message integrity it means that the data must reach the destination without any adulteration that is exactly at is it was sent there must be no changes between transmission neither accidentally nor maliciously integrity of a message is ensured by attaching a checksum to the message the algorithm for generating the checksum ensures that an intruder cannot alter the checksum or the message message authentication in message authentication the receiver needs to be sure of the sender's identity that the receiver has to make sure that the actual sender is the same as claimed to be there are different method to check the genuineness of the sender the two parties have share a common security code word a party is required to show the security code word to the other for authentication authentication can be done by sending digital signature a trusted third party verifies the authenticity one such is to use digital certificates issued by a recognized cert certification authority now message non reproduction 
non reproduction means that a sender must not be able to deny sending a message that is actually a sent the burden of a proof falls on the receiver non reproduction is not only in the respect of the ownership of the message the receiver must prove that the contents of the message are also the same as the sender sent non reproduction is achieved by authentication and integrity mechanisms authentic entity authentication in it entity authentication or user identification the entity or user is verified prior to access to the system resources so that's all for today thank you sir